So we're over here at 1 Samuel 7, verses 13 to 18 this morning. Let's, let's read the passage and then let's think about it together. So the Philistines were subdued, and they did not come any more into the territory of Israel. And the hand of the Lord was against the Philistines all the days of Samuel. Then the cities which the Philistines had taken from Israel were restored to Israel from Ekron to Gath. And Israel recovered its territory from the hands of the Philistines. Also, there was peace between Israel and the Amorites. And Samuel judged Israel all the days of his life. He went from year to year on a circuit to Bethel, Gilgal, and Mizpah, and judged Israel in all those places. But he always returned to Ramah, for his home was there. There he judged Israel, and there he built an altar to the Lord. So we're looking here, now we're going to close in on the last days of the ministry of Samuel. There's kind of a transition point here. And what we find here is that Samuel was judging Israel. Now, you might kind of wonder, what in the world does it mean he was judging Israel? In the book of Judges and here in the book of 1 Samuel, and a judge is not necessarily what you or I might think of as a judge today, somebody who decides civil court cases. A judge was basically the leader, and God called his leader the leader of his nation. There was a period of time here called the period of the judges. There was a lot of chaos and strange things in this period. You can read about it if you just read that rather short book, not long before this one called the book of Judges. But it wasn't all chaos. It was just there was a lot of it, but there wasn't all chaos. In fact, God called from the common people. It wasn't a, wasn't a monarchy. It wasn't a kingdom. It wasn't that kind of a thing. It certainly wasn't a republic or a presidency. He would call a person, a common person, call them, and that person would serve and be a judge. And usually they judged for around 40 years, these periods of time. Samuel was both a prophet and he also was a judge. Again, it doesn't mean what we think of as a judge. It means that this was a person who was a deliverer, okay? So we find here uh, that the Philistines were subdued. They stopped coming. They kind of backed off, and there was peace on different sides because, you know, God's people had put away the Baals. God's people had put away the Ashtoreths. God's people had returned, we read yesterday morning, uh, completely or wholly to the Lord. They were only his, and so God blessed them with that. And so Samuel was, was mobile. He was going from different places on a circuit and I know that as a pastor driving from church to church in a multi-church district. I know a little bit about something kind of like that, although I get it with air conditioning in my car. God loves us. God knows what his people need, and if we will only cooperate with him, he will give it. And so here was a faithful leader. Many times the church is bereft of faithful leaders. Here was a time when there was a faithful leader. Of course, where there's humans involved, there are challenges, and so starting Starting tomorrow with chapter 8, we're going to get into some uh, a big wrong turn that God's people make, but that's tomorrow. For now, let's be glad that God was willing to lead Israel. He provided a leader. This was Samuel, the judge Samuel, and we need to make sure that we pay close attention. Know who God is leading as he leads his people and follow their lead. Let's be close to the Lord and close to his leaders, and the Lord will bless that if we're willing to do it. It's not just uh, cowboys and Indians, everybody doing their own thing, but let's try to go as a group and let's find out who the leaders are and let's let them lead as God leads them. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, today we've looked at 1 Samuel. We see uh, this period in the time of Samuel's life where he was working faithfully and you were blessing your people. Lord, help us today to be able to be uh, tuned up to know who your leaders are and to follow, Lord, as you lead your people. Bless, we pray. Thank you for your words given to us through your servants. May we be faithful in these crazy hours. Thank you for hearing our prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Truly, these are crazy hours. So it's more important than ever to kind of watch and understand how God is leading his people. May he be your leader That's my prayer for you and I both today. May God be with you.